Hi guys, my name is Natalie and my my mom's gonna be telling you all we're gonna make today. Yes, today we are going to be making a ravioli lasagna. It is a fast, easy dinner, only has four ingredients. And Natalie, what do you think about this dish? Do it's you like it? Be, yes. So one of your favorites? Yes. Well let's get to showing them how to make it. With our ravioli, we like to use two different types of ravioli. We have a beef ravioli and a cheese ravioli. There's also two different kinds of cheeses that we use. We use par mozzarella cheese and the last cheese we're gonna be using is Parmesan cheese. And pepperonis. And the last ingredient is the sauce. We like to use two different sauces. We have a meat sauce and a fire roasted tomato and garlic sauce. The first step we do is you're gonna layer the bottom layer with some of this tomato sauce. Just put it around. Okay. And then we're gonna open our ravioli. So the first step we did was we put the sauce on the bottom and then we layered the first layer with ravioli. We interchanged beef and the cheese ravioli. Now we are going to top it off with mozzarella cheese on this layer. Okay, you wanna put the cheese? Okay. So we gotta put the cheese all on the bottom, okay? Come on, you gotta go all the way around. So after we have the cheese down there, what makes ours a little bit different than the recipes we found online is we like to add pepperonis to it. So ours might look a little crazy because we have a three-year-old that wants to put the pepperonis on with me. So go ahead and put some pepperonis on there, Bubby. Here, look, look at this. Ready? No. Okay. Okay, and then the next step is, is we're gonna do another layer of sauce. Okay. Hold on, that's enough pepperonis, ready? Another layer of sauce. Mama! And I'm pouring the sauce in a cup just to make it easier Mama. so it doesn't make a mess. Okay, ready? Hold on. Ready? Let me show you. So now that we have the next layer of sauce on, we need to put another layer of raviolis on before we put more cheese. You gotta line them up, bub. And then after the raviolis are on, we do another layer of cheese. No, that I do. Wait, Mama. Uh -oh. No. Mama, Mama, I want the cheese. Okay, put the cheese on. Let me open another bag. And trying to make this with the three-year-old, it's kind of all over the place because he's a stubborn little boy and he likes to do things the way he wants to do it. I know, Mama, Mama. But really the trick is with this is just layering it and then adding the pepperoni and the cheese. It's really simple. Ready for the pepperonis, Julian? Okay, here, here's the pepperonis. Put them on. Ooh. 
go. Mama, I really eat. Say pepperoni. But I really eat real. Mama, Mama. You ready? <laughs> Hey, <laughs> mom. Okay, and then we're gonna do one more layer of sauce. I'm out there. Mama. Hold on. Mama. Okay, you gotta be careful. Let me do the sauce, and then you can do the cheese and the pepperoni and the. Mama. Let me do the sauce. And we actually only ended up using one full can of the oh, Prego. It was about 45 ounces. Oh, okay. And now we need to do a little more raviolis. So this will be the last layer of ravioli. Oh. Uh. Mama. I you want Mama. And for the last layer, after we put the pepperoni and the ravioli, we are just putting one last layer of cheese on it. And after I do this layer, I'll top it off with a little more sauce, and then I'll do the Parmesan cheese on top. Top it off with a little more sauce. Oh my God. And then we are going to put on the Parmesan cheese. My cheese. My cheese. My cheese. My cheese. I got out it. We mama out it. My cheese. And the last one, we are going to just put this Parmesan cheese on top. And we are going to put it on our Weber. Mama, I'm at me too. So we are going to put this on the Weber and it is going to cook for about 30 to 45 minutes. So we will come back. Okay, we're about 45 minutes into this cook and I'm helping my wife, we're tag teaming this. So this is done. And this is one big bowl of deliciousness. I'll tell you uh, a fun little story about this. When I met my wife, uh, she cooked this for me when we met and it kept me coming back. Uh, I, I've wanted it for years. Uh, we used to live in San Antonio, and I wanted her to cook this for us, but we could not. We could not find frozen ravioli in San Antonio, so we're finally getting around back to it. Very good memories uh, associated with this dish here. Uh, we hope you try it, and if you do, please let us know in the comments down below. Please make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.